What are you doing there, chunky boy? Fixing, uh, fixing my little mischief I made. At uh, QR today. Went to do burnouts. Yeah. He did burnouts. I did. Um, most likely he, his wheel stud snapped, but most likely they just weren't tight enough, and with all the shaking, they just undid themselves. So, and oopsie, but tomorrow we're going to Archie drift competition. This is your first comp? Uh, yeah. His first comp? Yep. Ever. Ever. <laughs> and then I'm in pro class in the drift car that is. In a, in a way far from a pro drift car in terms of power. However, I have a this. I'll be kicking the crap out of the clutch, so hopefully I can get some footage of the battles for that. And hopefully the car is still white at the end of the thing, not covered in marks from getting hit on. And hopefully it has a rear end and a run end. So yeah, welcome to the video. Everyone's set up, rolled up. I've got to put some space in the front. I've got the bucket seat. I've got to put that in. I've got the trailer. Brought a vice with me just in case you never know. Um, yeah, and then we've got the straight pipe in the back. So space on the front so we can get all the lock bucket seat because we've got the stock seat in, so it's legal. But yeah, that seat's atrocious in terms of keeping you in the place of the car. You kind of end up on the center console and then in the door car, and then almost you just can't focus on driving like that. So that's going in, uh, stripe pipe going on, so we can hear it because a lot of it, like, that's what I'll be versing. And not, I don't think they are driving, but. It's not going to be an easy ride, so I need to hear the car as much as possible to have feeling as good as possible. So anyway, we'll get straight into. Oh, people, some people might ask what tyres I'm running. I bought these 235 45 17 Fetties. Never used them, so we'll find out. See what happens. We'll get into it. Almost ready. Let the car warm up. Level two of Pro Am is finished, so we're going to do some practice. Bucket seat is in. Actually, can strap you guys on inside. It's good. Right, this is literally like first one practice session. Have done zero laps on these trips.
size of my grippy, which is the full intention, but the new clutch that I put in is a piece of crap, basically. And as soon as I kick the clutch, it doesn't transmit any clutch kick at all, really, to brake traction. Like, it, it might be alright in the wet, but I wouldn't even trust it in the wet, so... I've had to put the slippery tyres back on. See what happens. It's a bit of a shame considering I spent one of the nights literally changing the clutch so I wouldn't have this issue. So we'll see what happens. Send it on the This is just, yeah, it's just not doing it. it. It really just bogs down and you need to clutch it. But when you clutch it, it slips. So it's such a stitch up situation, but it's drifting. That's what it is. So see how we go. And plus, first run out, Ricky pumped in my quarter panel. I haven't even hit the wall, but it's all right. That happens too. She'd be right. Uh, when you're ready, David Samkowski, sing you up. helped me do the corner so down the back there you got as I as I entered it bogged down and I like we're doing and it was slipping and then it didn't fully initiate till like the outer like right where it needed to be for a good reclutch it like fully engaged and helped me make it so that was a point but I don't think it's gonna make it but we'll just deal with it appropriately and it's skidded till it doesn't skid no more all right, gonna go for a quick fang in Nick's beater. Just give my clutch a break.
to Jake Thornbury. Definitely a uh, David and Goliath battle like no other. Come on, Nicholas P. Something happens with the car. Yeah, I heard behind. I like took out my arm and I hit. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I, I tried my. All right, battle of something. Don't know. Let's do it.
right, so we've packed up 6 a 13. Essentially, I don't know what footage wise we got, so whatever you watched, I don't obviously upon filming this, I don't quite know what I filmed, but I went through our battle. Ben Aldridge and S15, the clutch was quite pretty bad, my tyres are pretty low. I, I mean, he would have won just due to proximity, but I did spin out essentially, so I did pretty well. Um, I battled Benke in the Laurel first, he just had a little rough, I wouldn't say I beat him, he just kind of he threw it away course wise. It's hard to say, like, yeah, he lost, but I won, but I didn't really, in a way, like, I won the battle. But it's just because it just dry. I just had a horrible lap, um, and I just kept together more. So saying that, and then I went on a uh, flip. I can't even remember her battle. It was quite busy because we were a little bit time time stricken. Obviously, those of you know Archerfield as at risk with the council, so we had to finish down on five, and we do victory burnout. So I'm pretty sure Cam something some burnouts. I, I broke or something, so I did a burnout. I did a burnout. But nonetheless, we got fourth. Uh, finished fourth, which is sick. Jake Thornberry in S13, massive car, big dollar car. E1, which is good, good driver. Um, then we had uh, Ben Hodges in S15, he got second, yes. No, he got third, sorry. And oh, I forgot his name, but he was driving damn good. Beaten up 33, but he was driving damn good. I don't know he's up from North Queensland, so he drove really well, which is mad. So all in all, good day. Uh, very interesting turn of events. I got some panel damage from Ricky. Just drifting stuff. It's all right. Uh, anyway, we're going to get home. It's dark now, so we're going to head on home. And yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching this vid. Um, really want to come back a whole lot stronger than having a clutch slipping. So that's really devastating in terms of that. I really wanted to try these fetties, but on to the next event will be at Rayleigh Raceway in Coffs Harbour. So that's coming in a few weeks. So yeah, look out for that. If you're down in Coffs, come check it out. Round one of the, uh, it's not Speedy Flow series, it's Mini Fabrications now sponsoring it. So excited to do that. I'll be there on the Sunday. Um, yeah, anyway guys, peace out. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care, see you soon. Ciao.